Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In this video I want to cover a top 10 coin that largely flies under the radar and that's NEM. Now these guys have built a unique blockchain from the ground up. It's fast, it's scalable. They're calling it the smart asset blockchain and it's built for performance and it allows for the management of plenty of different types of assets and projects to be built on top of their NEM public blockchain platform. And I'll talk about the different layers to this as we move through the presentation. So NEM was sort of created back in 2014 and the NEM Foundation in 2015 and they're trying to build a blockchain that streamlines the adoption of this technology throughout enterprise and industry. As we all know, the wide range of applications for blockchain technology, but we need the rubber to hit the road and for businesses to adopt this technology. And that's the, the aim of the NEM team. So blockchain for every industry, this isn't a privacy-based coin. They're very much going for that mass adoption. So use by government throughout academia. I'll talk about the hubs that they're already helping to educate people and, and pull resources to um, flourish and develop the, the young innovators in this blockchain space. So the team's already up to 40 or so members. They want to get that up to 100 or 200 in the coming months. Um, have a look at their LinkedIn profiles for more detailed background. But this is a really fast growing community. And if you just have a look on their social media platforms, you know, their Telegram and GitHub, they've gone from hundreds to thousands of members just in the past few months. So this is definitely a, a thriving community and they're branching out with their range of projects and partnerships that they've already created. So plenty of use cases. We won't dive into them all in detail, but I've spoken about before, you know, blockchain technology being applied to financial business models, record keeping, and the one we're most familiar with decentralized organizations and a big part of NEM platform moving forward is going to be that COMSA project and launching ICOs. So I want to talk about how this technology works. So rather than proof of work, which you're most familiar with, where the computers do the mining or proof of stake where large holders can tie up their coins in a node and get rewarded, NEM uses what's called proof of importance to do harvesting, to pay out those dividends to those with the network's best interests. So how this works, so they've basically got an algorithm whereby it, it calculates who's got the, the most interest or using the network the most through the size and number of transactions, who they're doing those transactions with, as well as having the number of coins, um, the minimum being 10,000 in your wallet um, to participate in this um, harvesting process, which is very similar in a lot of ways to proof of stake. So this is fairly easy to set up. Just download the wallet and click on that tutorial section. And once you've got that 10,000 NEM, you can start to collect those dividends once you're actively using the network. So delegated harvesting is very similar to um, the way that miners can join a mining pool. So you can pull your resources without ever having to actually send your coins or, or private key. So a very safe and secure way to um, pull resources together um, to collect those rewards with what's known as delegated harvesting. Now the next thing I want to talk about is Catapult. Now a lot of people are excited. This is the big network upgrade that a lot of you have been waiting for and this is going to even greatly increase more so the speed um, and capacity of the network. So this is capable of doing 4,000 transactions per second which is you know, vast improvements on other blockchains. Um, this is going to change from Java to C++ which a lot more coders are going to be familiar with. So encourage more developers to move and be able to use this platform, optimize data storage, um, create plenty more APIs for you know, plugins and gateways for businesses to switch over to use this NEM blockchain on and apply it to their current business model. So really exciting and I've now said that this is going to be out before the end of the year. Now the next layer to this NEM platform is the private blockchain. So the main NEM public blockchain I've just described, and then we have these side private chains 
that are even faster again, so up to 10,000 transactions per second. This allows businesses and companies to keep their data off the main chain, keep it more private, okay? And this is how it differs, differs to Ethereum in that their execution of their smart contracts is off-chain rather than Ethereum, which is all executed on the network. So I definitely think there's room for multiple platforms um, and then in some ways they are competing, in some ways they're going for a very different angle and targeting of a very different crowd. So I'm a big believer in, in um, not saying that one is better over the other. They, they're going to target specific industries and I believe both are good projects that will succeed in the long run. So plenty of partnerships and projects that I've already touched on. I just want to mention a few of the um, the ones that are grabbing the headlines lately, I guess. So NEM have recently partnership with the Malaysian Digital Economy Corporation. And as I spoke about, NEM is based in Malaysia, but a lot of roots in um, Japan. It's the second most popular cryptocurrency there. We know Japan have taken a pro-cryptocurrency stance, and this is why I see NEM as working very hard behind the scenes to, to place their chips to allow for mass adoption down the road. So NEM have built an incubator or, or, or a, a blockchain center, um, a very large facility that's going to allow for like-minded people to get together, and we often forget that that's an issue in this decentralized economy um, bringing all those innovators into the one space, under the one roof, um, to allow for this technology and bounce ideas off each other um, as we move forward. And I know there's plans to open up several more of these in China and Australia. So the next one I want to touch on is a project called Dimcoin. So the headline here can potentially revolutionize stock markets. And what they're doing is trading Dimcoin against other cryptocurrencies in pairs on, on this, what will be a, an exchange of sorts. So you'll be able to tokenize, I guess, um, currencies as well as cryptocurrencies, um, stocks, ETFs, all these sorts of things in the future um, on this Dimcoin project, as well as a few others, which I'll touch on in just a second. So the one that you're probably all most excited about having their ICO today, and that's Comsa. So Comps is basically a professional ICO service to allow for the due diligence and behind the scenes work to be done before ICOs launch. So you know, filter out the bad projects and the fraud and there's going to be a high demand for these sort of professional ICO services in the future as we're seeing the regulations get um, laid down recently. So this Comsa project is going to link in with the Ethereum and Bitcoin blockchains as well as the NEM chain, um, all those you know, different projects I've just touched on on top of NEM linked into that Comsa core, which has already partnered with the Zafe exchange, Japan's third largest crypto exchange, and then that Comsa hub, which is built on top of those Minjin private blockchains I just described. They'll then launch those ICOs, which can be traded with to individuals bought in different cryptocurrencies. And again, I believe this is hoping to all be launched in um, with the Bitcoin, NEM, and Ethereum layers um, as soon as 2018. So pretty exciting project that's that's just around the corner. I've already touched on um, Compsa and the NEM Foundation there. A project that's exciting closer to home now is this partnership with Blockchain Global to build a, a new cryptocurrency exchange, again, based on top of that NEM platform for the trading of NEM and other cryptocurrencies. And we've seen those coins in the past, which are platforms that applications and projects can be built on top of, typically go up in price as they have more intrinsic value. So plenty to like about that there project with Blockchain Global and Digital X in Australia. So This one here is just pulled off their Twitter from today. And again, streaming those um, supply chain services. So this is a company in Japan um, tracking gay meat from farm to plate. And this is just one of those applications, as we said, a great use of blockchain technology to 
have a verifiable ledger of the stages of um, supply, and, and this is only one instance or example of how this can be used in agriculture. Again, partner with a Japanese company. I think there's going to be plenty more of similar announcements and projects like this um, tie in with the NEM blockchain. The next couple I want to touch on are Graft and Bankera. So recently, Digital X, a company in Australia, helped Bankera raise a record amount. So $29.6 million in the pre-ICO, which I believe was the biggest pre-ICO amount ever raised. So Bankera and Graft are going to be those sort of cryptocurrency style banks and payment methods and at the end of the day we all want a way to spend our cryptocurrency in the real world and allow for commerce and that ecosystem to easily flow between businesses. Finally, I just want to talk about the plenty of um, conferences NEM are going to be speaking at soon. So I know there's a big conference in Australia in two weeks time more in Las Vegas, Dubai, okay, these guys, as I said, are doing the hard work behind the scenes, plant the seeds, build these partnerships and relationships, encourage education about the NEM blockchain so that in the future we, we can hopefully see widespread adoption um, and usage of the NEM public blockchain and those Minjin private blockchains. So obviously there's plenty of competition in this space. Um, I know a few, a few people have touched on the worry of um, the small circulating supply here. So, you know, 24-hour volume of $3 million compared to the market cap of $2 billion is tiny. But as this ecosystem grows, that money velocity picks up and NEM starts flowing around the, the ecosystem, obviously that circulating supply is going to pick up and those harvesters will gradually get delegated more and more um, NEM, which is going to even out that supply, which at the moment is concentrated in the early adopters' hands, I guess. So plenty of competition from similar um, smart contract platforms, you know, NEO and Ethereum. You guys know that I like all these projects. I think there's room for more than one to succeed. I hope you've liked this presentation. Please hit like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around and as always, thanks for tuning in guys. Cheers.